Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. Since December of 2018, I've been living strictly in Mauritania. I'm an ultimate Iron Man account, which means I can't use banks and I can't trade other players. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. This guy wants to get a rune crossbow from a from a lucky impling. <laughs> like, why doesn't he just make it? What an idiot! But, but there, there's no spinning wheel in Mauritania. How would I get the string to? But like, like he thinks he's going to get one specific item from a lucky impling. I can't, I can't believe this guy. This is honestly sad. I mean, I mean, I'd subscribe just because of how bad I feel for this guy. What a loser! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them. I'll prove them all wrong. So to put in perspective, we're looking at over 300 hours to get 99 Hunter, potentially hundreds of hours to find Lucky Implings, all relying on an approximate 1 in 300 drop, taking into account the massive loot table. Spinning Wheel. It doesn't exist in Mauritania. I was extremely surprised to see how many people weren't aware that you actually need a spinning wheel to make a crossbow string. Out of the 2,500 comments on the last video, I'd say about 300 of them. Uh, if not more, we're about creating a crossbow in Mauritania, but it's simply not possible. Lucky Implings are the only way. A lot of people have also been doubting the theory and how this crossbow could possibly make that big of a difference, and there was another fault with Plan A that I never really mentioned. The Amulet of the Damned was obviously a huge part of what made the Carol's crossbow setup extremely effective, and the problem is that when your team wipes inside the Theater of Blood, the Amulet of the Damned is lost. I reached out to Mod Ash a few months ago on this, and it is an intended game mechanic. This means that each time we fail a Theater of Blood attempt, I would have to work my way up to Silver Keys with Shade Chests, and go for the 1 in 15 Amulet of the Damned all over again with limited inventory space. So this would have to be done for every single attempt, which could mean hours upon hours of prep time and all for a pretty significantly less effective setup. I'm well aware that there's a lot of people doubting this plan and saying it's unrealistic, and I'm glad because this will make it a lot more fun. While we wait for our final XP randoms to get 27 Hunter and set the plan in motion, let's finally get the most game-changing item of the entire series. 19 days. That's how long I've been in this minigame, and over the course of these 19 days, I've done approximately 6,200 temple treks. One temple trek on average is approximately 80 seconds, and I officially started my 50-day 500-hour temple trekking grind at the end of March. And up until April 15th, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Almost. After my death on April 15th, I lost a few important things. Mainly my seeds that I killed 18,000 vampires for, but on the bright side, it cut my weight in half, and I can now dedicate all of my time toward temple trekking and focus on reaching 85 for Abyssal Demons in the next month. While currently averaging under 7,000 experience per hour, I only need 2,048,173 more experience until I'm finished. And I have one month to do it, so let's get to work. Seventy-five agility, the final skill of the tomable ones to reach seventy-five. Beautiful. Two hundred and sixty-nine souls have been rescued from Burdara. Let me tell you, I am definitely not one of them. All right, we're gonna be ending day twenty with sixty-six thousand XP gained, and we're very, very close to seventy-six. Gonna be getting that tomorrow. So today was the first day of week three, and I managed to hit seventy-six Slayer today, as well as fourteen hundred total. Uh, 60k XP gain today, not too great. Day 23! Give it up for day 20. Oh, it's been so long. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be saving this lamp, actually. I'm gonna store it, we're gonna go for another one. 
Oh, that is beautiful to see, man. It's been several days since the last XP random, and we need as many of these as possible. I believe this is day 23. I only gained 46k XP today, which is very, very low for me, but 15k XP from 77, so we'll be seeing that pretty soon. Oh, there we go. We got a tome. All right, what a slow freaking plod towards this level, man. 77 Slayer. I've been pulling some really low days recently, so this just... This took so much longer than it should have, but next level is the halfway checkpoint. It is exactly half the experience of 85, which means I just have to do everything I've already done again. Oh, that's respectable. We got our last genie yesterday, actually. So this is uh, back to back days now with XP lamps. That is going to be very close to 23. Very, very close to 23 Hunter there. That is an extremely lucky inventory. Three Slayer Tomes from uh, 14. Very nice. This is going to be the big 78. I am officially halfway to 85 Slayer. Halfway from finishing the biggest grind on the account. Ooh. The levels are getting so long now. The 170k XP until 79. That's like three, three days of good trekking, so... I think I'm gonna be calling it quits today for the XP. Let's let's show you this. All right, this is a pretty good day. 70k XP gain today, very solid. You know, this reminds me of that one time in the in the like Revolutionary War where George Washington was like on his boat. He was like, "Yo, guys, I just got 79 fishing." <laughs> Please subscribe. All right, let's do it. It's been like three days since I got a level 79 Slayer. We are one level away, one simple level away from something big. Hey, how's it going, pal? There, there it is, man. This is it. This is going to be 23 Hunter, leaving me four levels away. In fact, I have an extra lamp that I've been saving just in case I got a book, but yeah, there's 23 Hunter, very nice. Four whole levels to go, wild kebits. Ah, the first skill to hit 80. To be fair, it had a bit of a head start. It was like 66 while everything was 63. On a more important note, look at that boot on the ground. Isn't that freaking cool? How could I miss such an important moment in Swampletic's history, 79 agility? 1425 total. That's one for the scrapbook. A truly pinnacle moment. It's a pinnacle moment. I don't know if you smell that. <laughs> 80 freaking Slayer. 11,000 Temple Treks to get to this point. Oh man, look at it. We can now kill Necreal. We have unlocked the second piece of the puzzle. Unlocking Necreals with 80 Slayer allows me to get my Rune Boots now, which is best in slot unless I get ridiculously lucky from a clue scroll. And now we just need the final piece of the puzzle. We need to get the big 85, which we're only five levels away from. Five very, very long levels. It has been a pretty long while. Uh, one more lamp and we'll hit 24. We're getting so close to two massive milestones that genuinely change everything for this account. 27 Hunter, 85 Slayer, monumental. Woo, two in one day, holy. It has been so long since that has happened. Yes, please. That is what we needed, man. That is actually what I needed. Hunter's finally catching back up after that dry streak. There's 24, three levels to go. This is the same day. This is the, <laughs> this is such a good day. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. Possibly the greatest day of temple trekking I've had since day one. I mean, that is, that is insane, man. 81 Slayer, about 84k XP gain today and three XP randoms and I'm still going. This is not even the end of the day. So, um, still the same day. <laughs> I don't know how. Absolutely wild. That, oh my, after four lamps yesterday, getting one the next day in the morning as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Uh, this is going to be 25 Hunter. Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. One lamp down, three to go. Well, it's been a pretty uneventful couple days, but uh, nonetheless, we got it. 82 Slayer, I believe I've completed over 13,000 Temple Treks at this point. And oh, the XP, oh, the XP, look at that. 250K until 83. Let's keep going, hell yeah. All right, I gotta show this, man. I have to show this. 
Uh, by far the most Slayer XP I've gotten in a day. 103k XP gained today. Super lucky. Also just went really, really efficient today. Uh, trying to trying to make up for some lost time. That is insane, man. 103k XP. I don't know if I'll be beating that, honestly. I really wish I knew what day it was so I would have any kind of idea uh, what kind of pace I'm going here, but... 83 Slayer, I think I'm actually ahead of schedule. Uh, I think I'm actually way ahead of schedule currently, so that's, that's really, really good. Spiritual Mages unlocked two levels to go and... 1450 total check that out very cool the genie i've been waiting for right there that is what we've been waiting for this is going to be 26 wow i uh it just brings me back to the clip man brings me back to the clip where i said it would take 10 months and uh here we are like six months later one level away that's the second one i've seen here i have uh, the first one someone caught it like as i saw it so i couldn't even record it but this one i'm being taunted man i'm being taunted over here one day well it looks like we're on the final stretch for just about every accomplishment in the book right now 84 slayer now officially one level away, 306,000 XP. I have no clue what day it is, but you probably do because I'll put it somewhere, but final stretch, one hunter level to go, one slayer level to go. Everything is looking up right now. I'm so excited, so excited to finish it off. Uh, 34 million total XP. I believe I started at around 16 or something, so. Well, the motivation is at an all-time high right now, and I think the the XP gain today will speak for itself. I hope you're wearing your hazmat suit because, ladies and gentlemen, I've gained 121,000 Slayer experience today. Um, I mean, let's let's not even talk. <laughs> does it feel real, man? It does not even feel real. 17,000 temple tracks, 48 days, and over 500 hours. Biggest smile on my face right now. If there was ever, ever a time to say it, it is now. This changes everything. You can now kill abyssal demons. I think it's safe to say, if I'm not rank one temple trekking, I'm probably pretty dang close, 
But yeah, 85 Slayer without ever having completed a Slayer task. Oh man. So you may be wondering, what now? What happens now? Now we go for 99. Okay, obviously I'm, I'm kidding. Okay, obviously I'm kidding. Uh, but what I am gonna do is one more temple trek. I'm gonna redeem some silver bars so I can actually sell them for some money. Hey, so the plan right now, we need to make some money. 20k to be exact. I'm gonna need to buy back my Avandis flail in order to get anything done. That is uh, quite literally exactly what I needed. Perfect. All right, let's get rolling. Just enough money to buy back the flail. Perfect calculation. So the reason I need this is because I wanna get my rune scimitar back. Uh, I could potentially be killing thousands of abyssal demons for this whip. So I think it's in my best interest to camp for the rune scimitar and this is my best weapon to do it with. Uh, the rune simi is faster and stronger than the Avandis flail. I think it's gonna save me time in the long run. So I've been killing skeletons for about three hours now with no luck on this scimitar and I've decided why not just try my luck? Who knows? You know, this account has been so lucky in the past. Uh, I'm gonna go do some abyssal demon kills. I am way too excited about killing abyssal demons to be hunting a rune scimitar right now. So let's get to it. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I haven't. Oh my god. I haven't been here long at all. I. Oh my god. There it is. The 532 hour climb for this one moment. I am in shock. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I just, I just want to admire it for a second. Two months for one item that changes the entire game from a 42 strength bonus to 82. Oh my god. I don't I don't think it's been more than like two hours that I've been here. It, it was like three minutes per abyssal demon kill. Oh, I'm so happy. The power, I'm shredding this guy. Oh, I am so powerful. I killed one abyssal demon after getting my whip, which means I got it on 45 kill count. Absolutely insane, the luck never stops. Rune crossbow, here we come. And speaking of the rune crossbow, we're only one singular lamp away from climbing past yet another immense obstacle.